In fact, one of the things they're finding is that people who go barefoot more or who walk on different kinds of surfaces in shoes that have a very thin sole have better balance because it's like your brain has real estate. And maybe you're a mathematician, so a lot of the real estate in your brain is taken up with mathematician. Maybe you're a massage therapist, so you've got a lot of real estate in your brain taking up with tactile information. If you're not, the brain's not getting input from a certain area, if it's not getting input from the soles of the feet and from those proprioceptors, that part of the brain that's devoted to that, it kind of like, that real estate is not occupied. So some other part of the brain, some other brain activity, may say, oh, I've got a little more real estate over here I can use to remember crossword puzzles, maybe, <laughs> or something else. But it's important to keep all of our senses stimulated, and that means including the senses on the bottom of our feet. So in your own lives, even, make it a point to go barefoot some in your house. Have a different texture rug you stand on, maybe. The point is, if you stimulate those receptors, you can help them stay enervated and active. Foot reflexology and other kinds of foot massage things can help do this for a person who doesn't get out and around and up on, on their feet and walking a lot themselves. Everything has to accommodate what's coming from the feet up. We check our sh patients' shoes in our clinic regularly. I tell my patients they can have a free shoe check anytime they call and find out I've got five minutes in front or back of my lunch or any other time of the day where I've got a few minutes. They can bring in shoes. I say, bring them in when you first buy them. If you got, while they're still in the box and you've still got that hot receipt in your hand, and let's check them out. Let's make sure those shoes are going to serve your body well. Because if the shoes don't serve your body well, you're going to be coming back in here for more visits than you want to. Not that I mind seeing you, but <laughs> quite a few of them take us up on that. And then they'll bring sometimes a bag of shoes from home, and we'll check how the shoes work for their feet. Shoes can get worn out. When shoes wear out, heel wears down, starts to break apart in the sole, or in the front of the foot. It changes how you walk in the shoe. It changes the balance. And shoes can actually be why some people come back in over and over and over and over again because they're wearing the same broken down shoes. 